Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're back in Clidduck and we're looking for the Devil's Bridge. I'm not going to be recording in 4K this time, just because I still haven't figured out Sony Vegas. For some reason, Sony Vegas doesn't like um, the iPhone files. I don't know why. Uh, when I put them in there, there's just a black screen and I've got to use a converter to convert them down to uh, something that'll work and then that seems to kill the quality so we're gonna just film in HD today I doubt you guys noticed the difference anyway but yeah we're looking for Clear Up Gorge Devil's Bridge so without further ado guys I gotta put my boots on and then let's get into this video right locked and loaded ready to go guys it is quite cold today to be fair it's warming up now though um, the sun's in my eyes if you're wondering uh, just walking across a bridge, I'll show you the bridge now. So this is the bridge I'm currently walking across. As you can see it's still frosty but like I said the sun's out. It was around minus one by me this morning I think. And hopefully guys, I've been told this is the way so hopefully it is to Devil's Bridge. Even with boots on, guys, walking on this is like dancing on ice. Wow, 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 we. I'm holding on to the handles. God, this is a death trap. I'm glad I have got walking boots on, to be honest. It is a good sign, though, guys. Could be, uh, could be on the right track today. This was a beautiful place, guys, before they put the road that's called the Heads of the Valleys. I was too young because they've been doing this road for years, but they have ruined a lot of nature to put in this bloody road. I mean, look at that. Wow. Right then, guys, I think this is it. I think this is Devil's Bridge. I gotta find the safe way to get down to it, but this is the place I was looking for. Yeah, this is definitely it. And as you can see, we've had a lot of rain the last few days. I'm just going to check this sign and see if I'm on the right tracks, because if so, I can't believe what I went through last time to find this bridge, guys. So guys, as you can see, you are here, and this is the Devil's Waterfall, and I'm assuming Devil's Bridge, pretty much. So I'm assuming this is it. Absolutely incredible area, guys. I might take some long exposures down there now and I may venture across there because the waterfalls are just stunning. Let's go have a look. I think I'm in the right area now and I've got to give a shout out to Alan Coles. His link will be down low in the description because he's the one who actually told me where it was. So cheers, Alan. Because the last time I went through some trouble finding it. Oh my god, it is absolutely stunning. Wow. Oh wow. This is incredible. So, guys, I got the camera set up. Um, I've got to set up for long exposure, so I got my 1000 grade ND filter on. I'm currently using 25 seconds, f stop 13, so one let me use 12 for some reason, and 100 ISO. They look dark on here just because of the filter, but when I edit them, they look a lot lighter. And I'll show you the pictures on the screen now. 
My mate has told me that I am actually at the wrong place. I've got to go further down where I've seen a path. He said, he said to just be careful, so I'm only going to have a look. I'm not going to risk it if it's too risky, and I'll just come back with a friend. That's what we're doing at the minute. We're doing a portrait shot, so I think it'll look a lot better than landscape. I just wish this tree went in the way, but this is, well, this is what I'm currently doing. I'm going to be shooting this one in a bit as well. Right then guys, so we're just on another section. And as you can see, it is a really nice shot. I just think my first shot. Um, I may walk further on up in a bit. I don't know though. It looks a bit uh, dangerous. A lot of trees have come out. It may be worth it. Um, we will try and get to the Devil's Bridge, but at the minute I'm seeing loads of other different photo opportunities. So guys, I managed to cross that without being stupid or falling in. And we're at this part now. I've taken one shot, like I said, photos will be up if they're decent. Um, so obviously, I haven't really explained it too much. The ND filter is obviously like, it's hard to explain. I know what it means. I know what it means in my head, but explaining it, I'm finding it difficult. So basically, it sort of puts like a black layer over your camera, which makes it dark, which means then you have to put a longer shutter on the camera, say like 30 seconds. So it brings in more light into the camera. And when it does, you'll see the pictures. It sort of like freezes the water and make it milky. I'm probably butchering it. I'm sorry guys, I'm not good at explaining stuff. But that's basically what it does for long exposures. You don't need them at night because you can do long exposures at night because obviously it ain't bright. But that's sort of like a quick, explanation on what ND filters do. Comment down below guys if you've ever been to Clidduck Gorge and if you're new to the channel and you're from my area let me know where you're from. So guys I think I'm pretty much done by here. I think I got some cracking shots. I don't know until I go home and edit them though and you will see them in this video. Very, very nice spot. Probably one of my favourites so far actually with the tree falling down. I've now got to manoeuvre all of this without hopefully falling in. And then I'm going to go look for the Devil's Bridge now guys. This was a spur of the moment trip as well. So, you know, I was feeling demotivated but I thought get out with a camera Go enjoy yourself for a few hours and uh, let's get on with it. So, I need to get across here now and let's go explore some more. Right then guys, so I've done my little bit from here of um, photography. So now it's on to possibly Finding Devil's Bridge, possibly, like I said, it is too dangerous. I'm not going to try it, so I'm just going to try and get it now. I may film if I see something else, but if not, see you in a bit. Guys, I couldn't get to the Devil's Bridge. I'm in, I can't even show you. I'm in walking boots and the drops are like, oh, I can't even show you because the camera's facing and I don't let you switch cameras. Um, basically the drops are just straight and I was slipping in my walking boots. I think I'm better off coming back here in the summer with Lee and doing it then because there was loads of, nearly fell in, there was loads of leaves this frost 
and it's just too dangerous guys i'd rather be safe than sorry i am going to go back to that other bridge though that you've seen the cinematics of and try and get some photos from me but you know it is gutting but like i said it's better to be safe than sorry and if i fall out yeah it's so so secluded no one would ever find me guys so guys we're now just down at the bridge not devil's bridge but a bridge just taking a long exposure shot which i think will be really really nice when i get red in it it's been a nice little uh, jolly out to be honest guys it has right then guys I think I've pretty much done you. Got some lovely photos, I hope. Um, didn't get a Devil's Bridge, but probably safe that I come down with Lee and do it with Lee or something and fall in and no one ever knows where I am. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing for photography and adventure videos if we could smash that like button it helps in the algorithm and also leave a comment thanks for all the support guys until next time i'll see you in the next video peace